I've been craving a reading weekend, so I'm doing that this weekend, and I thought, why not make a cute little weekend reading vlog out of it? guys if you don't know me my name is kaylin i make bookish content here on youtube i'm also on tiktok and instagram welcome to the channel so it is currently december 8th it's a friday it's 1 45 in the afternoon i'm going to officially start this at 2 p.m and i'm gonna end this video sunday around 2 p.m or 3 p.m whenever i want to i am not gonna put a ton of pressure on myself to read 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 because that will put me in a slump but i do have a very ambitious tbr so let's just go over it i also want to say i haven't weekly vlogged in a really long time which that's a topic for another video so if i seem a little weird or off it's because i'm not used to vlogging and I have to get used to it again. So here is my very ambitious TBR. I am in the middle of my reread of Once Upon a Broken Heart series. So I just finished Once Upon a Broken Heart actually this morning. And then I'm gonna reread The Ballad of Never After. I don't really remember this book a whole lot. So I'm glad I'm doing a reread because has. I want to finally read this book and if I finish this book this means that I will finish at least one series this year and I'll be so incredibly happy. And in case I want to switch it up a little bit little woman i am doing a video over on here called books to screen little woman is the next edition twilight was the first edition that video is not out yet it's coming i just have to edit it and upload it but the next one will be little women and i'm really excited yeah that's basically my tbr not a very exciting tbr but it's a tbr that i think is doable i'm sorry if there's a glare i just have a headache and if i don't wear my glasses the headache gets worse so i need my glasses on but this weekend is going to be filled with like coziness i have zero plans and this is the first weekend in a really 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 long time that i don't have to go anywhere and i'm really looking forward to it so we're gonna have a movie night tonight we're gonna do some puzzling because i bought a christmas puzzle we're gonna bake some cookies we're also gonna make bread the dough is currently proofing so we're gonna make bread i'm really excited it's just gonna be a really cozy weekend and i'm really excited i hope you guys are ready for it so i will meet you back here at two o'clock when it is time to read So 10 minutes into my weekend readathon, I don't even want to call it a readathon because I'm not forcing myself to read, but I want to read. I have some coffee here. I didn't have coffee this morning, which is very odd because usually I have coffee. I eat, drink some water, and then I have coffee. And I've been trying to figure out why I've had this like weird headache. It's not like a full blown headache, but I can kind of feel it like it's like a dull headache. And I'm like, it's probably because I haven't had coffee. So we're having coffee. Except I'm out of my normal creamer. All I had was sugar-free vanilla. But it's coffee. So I'm going to start the readathon with The Ballad of Never After. And we're just going to get up to reading and see how far we get into this book. Now join me in the kitchen. We're about to see what my focaccia dough has been doing. It's been proofing for about like three hours, so. Ah, so excited. This is my second time making focaccia. The first time didn't go that well, so I'm trying a new recipe. And I'm hoping if it turns out good, I can maybe make it for Christmas. I don't know, but we have to finish it. I didn't show you guys, but I'm creating a garlic butter to go on top of the focaccia. It's just grated garlic, cloves, three cloves, a stick of butter and parsley. The 
focaccia dough is in the final state of proofing. It just has to proof for an hour and then it's good to go in the oven. So while that is going on, I'm going to pick this up again. I get 50 pages into this book and I am really liking this book. I forgot about a lot of the twist in this series. So I'm excited to jump back in. I'm gonna have a banana as a snack because I'm hungry, but it's not dinner time yet. And then I'm gonna turn on some booktube as well. I'm now 100 pages in and I'm on chapter 14. And one thing I really admire about Stephanie Garber is her ability to tell these whimsical fairy tales that feel just cozy too at the same time. I don't know, it's really hard to describe unless you've read Stephanie Garber. And this book, I forgot how much is revealed in like the first 100 pages and how it's like twist after twist after twist like in the story. And yeah, I I forgot a lot of things about this book. Like I remember Once Upon a Broken Heart pretty well. Like that book has stuck in my brain. This one, I don't really remember. And I think I read these back when I was reading stuff like super fast and also what was in the period of time where i would like watch stuff and read at the same time so i wasn't really like paying attention i've gotten better i just need to show you this wow anyways as i was saying now paying attention more i really like this series a lot and i don't know i hope the last book doesn't disappoint we shall see but i think i'm gonna take a break from reading now and play some hogwarts legacy and then have some dinner because it is five o'clock and we'll see where the night takes us okay this is my second time making focaccia bread the first time didn't turn out that well this time it looks a lot better i used a different recipe this is what it looks like it's very hot so it's like steaming it's so hot look can you guys see that Let's try it. Wow. I made that. This would be so good with little tomatoes in it and maybe some caramelized onion and some cheese. 10 out of 10 recommend. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. I have now showered. I put on my new pajamas that I got this morning and I'm obsessed. I have never been a pajama set girly and I don't know if it's me entering my 30s or being a grown up, but I really have felt the need for matching pajamas and the want. So I got a gift from a client at work, uh, which was a Target gift card. So I treated myself to these pajamas. I love them. They're the Stars Across or Stars Above brand. I don't know. It's a very popular brand. I have a couple like of their sweatpants, like loungewear pants. Love them to death. I've had them for years. I think I may go back and get more like every single color and every single variation they have because these are comfortable. I need them to come out with like patterns, like cute little patterns. But it is, what time is it? 7.22 and I think I'm gonna do a puzzle and watch, there's that new Netflix series kind of in the same ballpark as The Summer Turned Pretty. It's very popular right now, like everyone's talking about it on TikTok. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a puzzle. First I have to edit my Vlogmas that's going up on TikTok. If you don't know, I'm doing Vlogmas over on TikTok. I tried to upload it to Reels and to shorts but sometimes the vlogs go over a minute and shorts only does 60 seconds which i need them to change that and then instagram reels does 90 seconds so it's a little easier but i just decided just to do it on tiktok because it's it's just easier they go up to 10 minutes so we're gonna do that and then when i get out the puzzle i will show you and then a little bit later we will bake some cookies so let's let's do some editing shall we
the show I'm talking about. This is the puzzle I'm doing. switched to this movie and this is the progress on the puzzle i switched because that show i think is a little too young for me it is not on the same like film level as the summer i turned pretty it's very cringy like very cringy and i think if you're like in your teens you would love it but me as being a 30 year old i'm like i can't get into it i can get into the summer i turned pretty can't get into that show so i changed it and i saw this movie i got really high rating and it's kind of one of those films that i think is going to be like leave you with the what the f did i just watch which i love movies like that i know saltburn is like that which i was gonna go see saltburn today but the only showing times they had was a 1 p.m and then a 7 15 the one o'clock i thought about but the theater is in the mall my amc is in a mall which I absolutely hate because parking is just atrocious and so I just thought about one o'clock on a Friday at the mall and this is a busy mall like this mall is always busy and then I thought okay it's a two-hour movie so time I get out traffic is gonna be horrendous so that and I found out it's coming to Amazon on the 22nd of this month so I'm just gonna wait till then but I know Saltburn's like that. I'm really excited to see Saltburn. I know nothing about Saltburn other than that. Like, it's a weird film, but I love movies like that. So I'm going to go back to watching and doing this puzzle while the cookies are filming. Cookies are filming while the cookies are baking. <laughs> It is the next day. It is Saturday and I'm feeling good today. Like yesterday I felt very tired all day and it's because I messed up and didn't have my coffee in the morning. Today we had our coffee. We're still drinking it so I'm feeling good. Okay, reading updates. So I am currently reading There's Something About Mary by Cody Hall on this book. I on my Kindle. And what this book is about is you're following this girl named Mary who lives on her family's Christmas tree farm and her and her family are very close. Insert Clark who she knew from high school and he moved back with his son and he is the foreman for the farm. And both separately are wanting to get back into dating. Clark kind of wants to do just like friends with benefits because he doesn't want to bring anyone into his son's life. Mary wants a little bit more romance. They both sign up for this app and what they don't know is they end up matching with each other and talking to each other. Both of them don't have pictures, profile pictures of themselves, which I think is really weird. And they're both not going by their names. It's cute for what it is, but it's a little too cringe for me in my opinion. Um, me and romances, if you watch this channel, it has to be a stellar romance with not that romance writing. You know what I'm talking about. If you read romance books or if you're not a romance book reader, you know that type of writing I'm talking about. It's kind of a little cringe. It's a little cheesy. Like that writing is just not my vibe. So it has to be like a stellar romance book that doesn't give that vibe. And there's very few that I love. Maybe I should do a video on all the romance books I love. For that way, people who are like me who don't really read romance can like get some book romance. That's a good video. Would you guys like that? Let me know. I know if I'm going to finish it. I am buddy reading this with two of the... Uh, two of my book club members Mimi and Josh so they're really liking this book and I'm really happy for them but I just I don't know so there's that I'm like 150 pages into it and then The Ballad of Never After last night I picked this up in bed because I couldn't sleep and I got 180 pages that's where I stopped I stopped in the middle of the chapter because I was falling asleep and yeah I do really like this book I am remembering more and more and more as I read it and I just 
I love it so much. I'm very excited to read the last book. So the goal for today is to finish this, which I think I can because this book is, I think, just under 400 pages. No, it is 400 pages long and then go into um, A Curse for True Love. I'm really hoping that we can do that and maybe we can finish the series this whole entire weekend because I have zero plans, like zero plans. So we're gonna get to reading because we've got some reading to do. And I'm gonna turn on maybe some ambience or maybe some booktube. I'm really in the mood to watch booktube, so probably that. So let's get to reading. a little bit later. I'm now 100 pages away from the ending, but I think I'm going to take a break because I'm going to do something that I haven't done since summer and I'm going to work out. I have been struggling with working out like mentally, the mental of working out. I've just been spiraling about it and I'm not going to get into those thoughts because I don't want to trigger anyone, but I told myself I wasn't going to go back to working out until like I wanted to like I felt the want to and I know what that feels like because I've had it before so I kind of feel the need to and I'm not gonna do anything crazy no weights or anything there's actually this girl here on YouTube that I really like there's actually a couple fitness girlies that I really like that do like kind of not so intense workouts there's like walking workouts there's MK fit who does dancing workouts I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a MK fit because she's fun and I kind of need a little energy because I've been sitting here since like eight o'clock this morning reading so I need to like get up and move so i think i'm gonna do that and then we'll come back and finish this book i'm having some lunch this looks very weird it's a chicken tender apples and a sweet potato and i'm going to watch alicia marie's newest vlogmas wyatt is here on my heated blanket he has confiscated it I just finished this book and I forgot the ending of this book. I am so thankful I have this with me right now because I need to go into it. And also, I really appreciate how big this font is. Like, look how big this font is. Like, are you joking? This is 381 pages. I feel like that's pretty doable to do and finished like this weekend. I can, if I can finish a whole trilogy within a weekend, because I finished this, I didn't show you guys, but I finished this Friday morning. And then I finished this, and if I can finish this by Sunday, that means I would have read a whole trilogy in a weekend, which is crazy because I haven't done this, I don't think, ever in my life. Well, no, I haven't done this ever in my life, so... But I kind of also want to take my time with this book, like, I don't want to rush it, so I don't know. I liked this one more than I liked Once Upon a Broken Heart, now with my reread. Like, I loved Once Upon a Broken Heart when I first read it. I still love it, but I think rereading it i love this one even more because there was just so much in this book and we got to see a little more between Jax and evangeline like their little moments together which i loved so much and i'm just like i have something that i want to happen that's in this book but i don't know if it's going to happen yeah so i'm gonna start that in a little bit it's now 227 i do need to go create some content just like one little video, I think, or maybe two. I don't know, I haven't decided, but I need to go create some content. Ignore how red this is. Okay, just ignore it. It's now 412 and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I read the first chapter of A Curse for True Love. I put it down, played some Hogwarts Legacy and now I feel like I kinda just wanna get my shit together. I kinda wanna do a little quick pickup of the house. So we're gonna do a time lapse, but I don't wanna listen to a book. Like I think I'm like all booked out right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but I wanna listen to music and I've been really vibing with Tate McRae's new album. Run for the Hills especially has been like my song on repeat. Pete. So I think I'm gonna listen to her new album or something or maybe I'll listen to I have a playlist on Spotify called you're my kryptonite and I'm not gonna disclose who what where when and why that playlist is about but I like to put that playlist on it speaks to my soul So I'm gonna put my headphones in I think we're gonna listen to the playlist <laughs>
outfit repeater. It's fine. You know what? It's fine to wear the pajamas for one more night and then we'll wash them tomorrow. I'm actually thinking about going back and getting another pair of pajamas, but hello guys. Hair oil is in, the sleepy voice is on, and you'll be shocked to know it's not even 8 p.m. and I am so tired. <laughs> Sad. But I've been doing this puzzle. I finished that movie May December. Very odd, very weird, very entertaining. It's a film that you kind of have to look more into with all the symbolism and like the way it was shot and like how the characters are. Like you kind of got to look into it more. But I, it's you know, it is what it is. Check up what it's about though before watching it. If you're gonna watch it, it was called May December. Now I'm watching a series on Hulu called A Teacher, which. I remember when this came out, I think I watched the first episode and then Hulu got like my mom canceled Hulu and I was like, I'm not buying Hulu. I have Hulu again, so I'm going to finish it. And I think the episodes are only like 20 minutes long or maybe 30 minutes long. So easy breezy show to like kind of do the puzzle and watch. I have not read anymore. I read a lot today, so I'm going to take the rest of the evening off not to read until I like get into bed and then I'll continue reading. Somehow I have found my way to rewatching Peaky Blinders. I don't want to hear it. I just wanted to see Tommy Shelby on my screen again. Okay, look at him. I'm just trying to puzzle and he just is laying here. <laughs> hey. Uncle Charlie, what? Hey. It's Sunday, which means it's pancake day. Let's go make some pancakes. has been had i try to romanticize sundays sundays are the one day of the week that really messes with my brain because for the first half of sundays i'm like cool chill i like love it it's like i'm still off and then once it hits three o'clock i'm like shit i actually have work tomorrow like this wasn't just like living in a fantasy that like it's still the weekend no I have work tomorrow. So Sundays, I try to just do things that make me feel more at ease and comfortable. One of them is staying in like PJs all day. Now I did just get these PJs, so I would be lying if I said, yeah, I sit my matching PJ sets all day. No, it's literally just a big t-shirt and sweatpants usually is what the uniform is on Sundays. But now that I have these, they're so comfortable, I need to go buy three more. So we're staying in these. I do my skincare first thing in the morning and I do have hair oil in. That's why my hair looks like this. We have hair oil and I've added a ribbon because ribbons are in style now and I love it. And I don't get up to do any sort of like resetting, which I don't really have much to do today, but any chores like I have to do, I try to do after noon. So between like the 12 o'clock to like one o'clock window, I take an hour to do whatever I need. So change Rune's water, which if you don't know, Rune is my fish, change his water. I will prep 
the food for the week if I need to. Usually it's just like my breakfast potatoes that I prep and like my eggs because I eat an egg salad every day for lunch. And that's pretty much the extent of it because I did a lot of it yesterday. I do have to film some short form content today, but that's pretty much it. Let's update on reading. So last night I only read a chapter, which is okay because I spent the rest of the night watching Peaky Blinders, you guys saw, you guys saw, I restarted it. If you are new here, I have an unhealthy obsession with Tommy Shelby, seasons one through three to be exact, of Tommy Shelby, but then also when he gets his glasses. So we're gonna read some of this now. Probably read for an hour while I catch up on some booktube and have the rest of my copy. And that's what we're doing. We'll see where the day takes us. pages into this book i'm really liking it so far there's something in this book that i have been wanting from the other books craving and we're finally getting in this book and i'm so happy i see why she did it that way because it's going to make things come together much easier and we get to see like different parts of the story i'm, I'm trying not to say anything because i don't want to give anything away i'm being very vague also there's a lot of things that need tied up and like finished but i'm also so scared of what's going to happen in this book and like how it's going to end but i'm on chapter 12 now and i am just loving this i just want to come on and say that i am 100 pages in it's currently 2 30 i am gonna stop and work out probably around like 3 ish 3 30 maybe and then take a shower because i've had hair oil in my hair since well i had it in last night and i put more in this morning so I want to I wanna get all that out of my head. And I think that's about it. So let's just continue reading. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this book today. This book is, let me see how long this book is, 380 pages long. So I have about 280 to go. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could finish this. But I don't really want to rush the process of this book. You guys will see my thoughts and feelings in some sort of other form of a video so but let's get back to reading <laughs> 